from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Well, thanks for joining us here on a cold and foggy morning here in the Happy Valley. I'm Michael Prianti for the Campus Weather Service. Here with Sean Romeo. It's a pretty cold morning out there, so not really fun to be out and about. So now, actually, we're going to send it over to our weather world here with student meteorologist Casey Herman for an update on the forecast. Take it away, Casey. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I'm really sad to see that this is our last uh, Friday shift, but moving on to our weather, you can see as we take a live look at the Nittany Valley, like Sean said, it's pretty foggy out there. Can't see much. Visibilities are low. Taking a look at Happy Valley, you can see all the cloudy, cloudy uh, skies and um, our temperature right now is 45, which is a lot colder than we usually have here, about 20 degrees colder than our average in April. And our dew point is 43, that's why you see all that fog out there. Um, now looking at, taking a look at our temperatures across Pennsylvania, 51 in Pittsburgh and 50 in Johnstown, a little bit warmer than here in State College at 45. Also a bit warmer here in Scranton, Allentown, and Philly, but still mid-50s is not that warm. Taking a look at our radar and satellite images, you can see um, some scattered showers moving out of our area, more heavier rain up to our northwest, and hopefully we won't see too much rain here for moving on. That's all I have here at the radar satellite and my part of the weather, moving it back to the desk with Sean and Mike. All right, well, thank you, Casey, for those updates on the current conditions. Yeah, pretty crappy day outside, sitting at about 45 degrees. Not really what you'd expect for this time of year, especially for the last week before finals. That's, so, that's right, that's right, Sean. And well, now we're going to turn to the rest of the forecast. So we're going to turn it over to Chris Colasita, who's going to take it away with the rest of the forecast. Chris? Thanks, Sean and Mike. Uh, now looking ahead to our future radar and satellite, as you can see, about 3.30 this afternoon, we have some showers off to our east. Uh, as we continue throughout the day, these showers continue to build. Um, right around uh, the middle of moving on, we should have some rain. Um, into our area, but by the end of the concert, things should begin to clear out. It should be relatively cloudy, but uh, pretty dry. And as we move throughout the night, uh, continue, continue, we'll continue to see some clouds as we move through the day on, in Saturday. Um, Saturday night, however, there's some showers coming up from our southwest, and they should persist throughout the night on Saturday and into the morning on Sunday. As you can see, Sunday morning, some pretty heavy downpours here in State College, but as we move through the morning on Sunday, these showers begin to clear out. Uh, looking at our today, our forecast for today uh, should be 49 degrees, uh, pretty cloudy with some periods of showers throughout the afternoon with winds out of the east from 5 to 10 miles an hour. And our forecast for tonight, a uh, little bit cooler, 43, with the showers ending around 10 p.m. Uh, with winds out of the north-northeast at 5 miles an hour. And for tomorrow, you should see a pretty big warm-up up into the upper 50s, mainly cloudy with some peaks of sunshine throughout the day. And that's all I have here at the weather wall. Now over to Mike and Sean. All right, well, thank you, Chris, again, for that uh, continued update on the forecast. Yeah, again, pretty cold, but getting a little warmer tomorrow before that rain moves in. Now we're going to send it over to our last forecaster, Megan Long, back to the weather wall. Take it away, Megan. Thanks, Mike and Sean. Now I'm going to talk about the Penn State versus Maryland um, forecast for this weekend. Tonight, Friday, uh, the first game starts at 6.30. We'll see some scattered showers throughout the game and temperatures will be around the mid 40s. Um, tomorrow we actually have a double header starting at 3 p.m. with clouds and a late shower maybe for the second game. Um, the temperatures will be in the 50s. Looking at the moving on forecast for this afternoon, um, it starts at 3.30. They'll see some rain, a little bit of drizzle. Um, during the middle of it, we'll see some scattered showers um, around 6.30. And then towards the end, like Chris said before, um, the rain should have stopped and the clouds will linger around. Now for the seven day forecast. As I said, uh, tonight we'll see some showers. Saturday will be mainly cloudy. And Sunday we'll see uh, more showers moving in. Um, throughout the beginning of next week, temperatures will be in the mid-60s. Um, clouds are still lingering around. Now back to Sean and Mike. 
Well, that's it here for the Friday PM crew of Canvas Weather Service. Thank you for tuning in again. This is our last show as I will be graduating this semester. So I've had a great time here with the crew uh, doing many forecasts every week this semester. And while I'm just going to really miss it here at Penn State in general, but I hope these guys can continue uh, the success that we have here at Canvas Weather Service for the next semester. From Penn State Canvas Weather Service, I'm Sean Romeo. I'm here with Michael Priante. I'm Chris Alcino. I'm Lindsay Herman. And I'm Megan Long. Thanks so much, everybody. See ya. <laughs>